So real quickly, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a digital portfolio. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go to sites.google.com. I am logged in under my Fresno State account, so when I log into or when I go to sites.google.com, I do see the Fresno State logo. If you're using your personal Gmail account, the Fresno State logo won't be there, but it'll still look really similar. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Create button and wait for it to create and it creates a site. So once I'm in there, what I want to do is I want to name my site. So I'm going to call this CI149 um, Alice Keeler Digital Portfolio. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, but it really should be professional and appropriate. Uh, it's not so crazy that you might want to show off the work that you did in this class. I think you're going to be really surprised with how much work we do and what you're able to do. Uh, but this is really important. Uh, while you can name the site anything you want, down here the URL address of your website needs to be unique. So you can actually edit this. Um, 201420. Let's see there. You can actually edit the site location URL. And the reason I'm doing that is. Um, and you don't have to, it might be fine, is you can't have the same address as anybody else. And that hopefully makes sense. I can't share the same address. So if when you try to create it, when you click create, if you get an error, this right here might be the reason that you have to edit that. Okay, and so if you want to, and this is optional, you can select a theme. So it doesn't matter if, you know, whatever you want. And you can change your theme as often as you like. Um, oh gosh, I think I'll just do this trios one just for fun. And so once you've picked your theme, you have a name for your site that's professional, and you've made sure that your URL is unique, uh, go ahead and click the Create button. It's doing it. All right.